Finally got all the furniture that we need inside this building. Just waiting on a bit of the melted metal. Furniture is still not really growing much though. We we might have a very small surplus growing. Maybe. Maybe like six to ten per day surplus. Gosh. Okay. Well, uh, they're here in Bastia. So, world map. Where are they at exactly? That, that better not be them. <laughs> Children of six rebels? It seems like it. Okay. I don't know what they're doing way over there. But all right, I will. Let's see here. Armies, recruit. Or no, hold on. Capital, armies. No armies to send this division to recruit one on the world map. <sighs> okay, fine, fair enough. Armies, recruit one. Uh, up here, because you got to go around that lake. Army one. That's recruiting from general populations. So now, back to my capital. Not enough supplies to send them filled up. Okay, I can't send them out whatsoever. Okay, so I have to wait for them to come to my border then is what you're saying. So... Okay, these definitely? I definitely don't need these. Like, I'm... I'm 14% sure I do not need these things at all whatsoever. Unless I'm sending them out on the world map and telling them go out there and kick them in the nuts. If I'm just saying defend our border because we're being attacked or oh god, they're right next door fucking up Jerry's apartment, then we we don't need these. So This is just a lie? Now they definitely don't have this stuff because it's not being stored. That's fine. That makes sense. You're bringing this into this warehouse. Yeah, okay. I have like 10 people for now, but still auto-employ. Hope get that stuff moved in so it actually counts for our inventory. Yes, yeah, nice. Okay. So now we're getting the weapons and armor. They've got 46 out of the 30 or so. I could bump this up to 40. So we're not fully trained yet. I don't have enough people for it. But uh, that's okay. I mean... Are we okay for that then? Two, two tricks of melee training just to make sure that we're like actually soldiered up. Okay, capital under siege. Show. Right. These guys. 58 of them. So I can say my 32 against their 58 balance is in their favor, probably because of numbers. I'll lose everybody and do nothing to them. I don't understand any of what these menus are telling me at all. Like, six armor, one weapon, eight bows. What's that mean? Six armor per person? What's that mean? 600%? Six out of what? The eight ticks or nine ticks or whatever was on the army screen before? What do those ticks even mean? I don't... I don't understand any of this information at all. So, and, I, and I don't know 
how these rebels are so well equipped compared to us. But I guess if we have no equipment, even though we have equipment and I've assigned equipment, but they don't equip the stuff actually, then I guess it makes sense that they've got the equipment because they figured out how to put their gloves on, and I don't know how to. We just have them. I have no clue. We'll go for you guys. A hundred humans. 7.7 thousand power. I don't know what the attacker's power is like, but these guys are the cheapest. So there's the 31.6k. And you can intercept. Key, yeah, we will annihilate them. Auto resolve. There's some drinks, tons of rations, weapons, armor, clothes, bows. Potential captives. Taken care of. You are disbanded and the army is gone. Back to the capital. And excellent. So I'm going to just continue training people and continue... Just continue stockpiling stuff, I guess. Like... Make sure you get just a bunch of stuff. I'll do my best to make it. With no bows, because I don't have archers. Nobody's got range training or anything. And let's go for, like, 120, I guess. Like, just, just big, big amounts, and we'll just see what happens. Not, not a clue. No, no understanding, no real feedback from the UI. It's like a different person did that part compared to the rest of the game, because the rest of the game I can kind of get. It's weird that you use the length of the bar to indicate how important it is. It's a strange thing, but once you know that, it makes sense. Awesome. Everything else with the army? Not a f***ing clue. Because suddenly we're not dealing with bars anymore. We're dealing with a mix of decimals, percentages, and just raw static numbers of, you know, eight armor. But I don't know what that means. All right, well, we made it through the attack at least. I just... I think I'm... I think I've gone down the route where I have to just buy mercenaries every single time. Thankfully, I've got enough money for it. For now. I increased the amount of coal and ore that we were getting. I feel like we're just getting so much coal, though. Here, have, have more ore, dudes. Get some ore going, because I'm gonna take out the smithy. That's gone. We're gonna take out the wall here and refurbish the metal smelter to be big or or. Like so. Except these walls for support, apparently. And then scrap all the furniture, because I'm gonna be redoing that because we've got different spaces for things. Don't have doorways here. Do have a doorway, like, over here. But, like, really, really not there. Okay, what if I expanded you one more into the mountain? Hey, you're gonna complain about supports over there, but not over here for some reason. Okay, what if I told you f all that and I just dig into the mountain and we just start from scratch? Because I think you're gonna complain about support elsewhere as well. You just aren't currently. So do that. And cancel that for now. Because I'm pretty sure we'd have a, an issue over here too, but it's not displaying the yellow because it's already built. And it's being covered up by the structure that's already there. The floor slash roof. Hey, over 25 in the ore mines for plus 10%. Okay, so you have to hold it for a little while, I think. Because I, I tried that. And it, uh, it didn't want... 
Sorry, was that 20 or 25? 25. Okay, so I definitely wouldn't have it with the ore. But I could... Or coal, rather. 25. Efficiency is suffering ever so slightly now. Oh, I need, like, a tile. Okay, never mind. I need, like, two tiles. Ugh. There. Okay. For 26 workers. And then they can get the boost for that as well. Uh, stone mines definitely already got it, I'm pretty sure. Species 1.4 tech uh, experience, maybe plus 0.1. Whoops. Is that what we're looking at for it? I think so. Okay. So the coal mine may or may not have it. I don't know. Accident. 25 injuries. We'll seek out a hospital. Zero deaths. Oh my god, it happened again. <laughs> Mining with rockets, dude. Never. <laughs> Never again. I don't know how this keeps happening. I need a hospital over here, actually. That kind of reminds me. Uh. Oh, hey. Oh, no. I knew about that. Auto-employing, and I'm not sure why. Is our wood okay? Our wood is not okay. Wait. Or is it? What's taking this all? Export. Household still? Construction minus 400. Consume... Let's say 500 consumption. Which is, I think, what you're producing, almost. Never mind. 900. Okay. And then housing is taking... Like another 500? Okay. Alright. I think I have to get... At least a couple. At least. That might be okay then. I hope. Mm. Oh yeah, I was looking for the hospital. Uh, physician, that's the one. Not quite a hospital, but similar. And of ish. Uh. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. 18 furniture we got, 18 cut stone we've got. I'm actually doing quite okay for cut stone now again. And 24 tools, tools we don't have anymore. I'll take a couple out of the masonry because that's a little bit extra. Uh, stone tools, or wood tools, whatever. That was... Yeah, that's you. Yeah, our tools are being used for some form of maintenance, I think, or what? Okay, four tools were used two years ago for maintenance, and we've never had a tool ever again. Okay. Ten people working on tools, then. Uh, uh. <laughs> Man, look, I, uh, I'm just playing a game, all right? Six days of food, but... Should be... Yeah, 1.1 days, and that means that also the grain... 
or veg. Yeah, 0.1 days. So we're okay for food. As long as we have enough food days to keep us until, what, 10.9 days? I think it is like 11 days it takes for this to do a full cycle. Uh, as long as we've got that, that amount of days of food, I'm largely okay. I think. Unless there's like a really big long-term event that causes problems. Okay. And with more and more of these Kratonians... Oh yeah, look at them. Fishermen, 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 fish, 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 They're all... All fishermen. How's our fish production going, then? Produced. Um... I don't know when it would have just been us. Well, we're producing 650 to 700. I don't know how many days it's been, though, to be honest. Species 1.2? Mm. One 1.26 on that one. I think we we still need m more Kratonians working this, because it's not quite enough to cover the fisheries. And certainly not enough to cover also the farms up north. I can hold... I can house currently 60. 300 wood. Oh. I'm gonna wait a bit. We don't need to do that yet. I'm gonna stay up to 100, though. Good luck. Oh, actually. When is that? 11 days ago is when we started getting them in. Uh, fish. Where was 11 days ago? Here. So, yeah, we really don't know. Because this would have been like one slash two dudes working it. <laughs> uh, to be determined. It should be significant, though. If we get full Kratonians working the fish, massively different. Because it was like 1.3 for us, it's like 2.1 for them. Huge boost. I was making tools from the metal dude that I tore down, right? I think so. Okay, well, let's see what I can do here. Refining the metal smelter. Yeah, see, I had this built before, but it wasn't giving me the yellow lines. Because there is already, like, structure there, or so. So now let's say I'll need a little bit of space for storage up there by the door. So let's say we do that. A little bit of storage. There's the door for you. And then auxiliary furnaces in the middle for efficiency. 92. 99. <laughs> there. <laughs> it's like 0.2%, I think. Uh, and yeah, out of stone, actually. Not wood. Right, it doesn't matter because we're doing cave walls. Aha! Okay. So 74 stone, 105 wood. That's not that much for the metal smelter, honestly. Not bad at all. 14 employees, 14 production, 100% efficiency. Yeah, okay. It's not really perfectly centered, I know, but... Hmm. Deal with that, I guess? I don't know. Okay. So that'll be a lot more metal for us. And then the two whatevers can be done. Dig into mountain. Go with my brush tool. Twenty-eight 
25 percent bonus 118 metal yeah that's that's the other thing like i need a ton of metal also for a lot of these upgrades it's just like i can do them for a free 25 percent boost i just need the metal and then obviously the metal for maintenance as well which is kind of the thing because currently it's being maintained with i think just like furniture and stone or something maybe a a bit of uh, maybe a bit of wood as well uh but if i upgrade it using metal now i need metal to maintain it as well so i guess i guess that's a downside of doing that it's not just simply just you know buy 500 metal one time do a bunch of upgrades in your set because i need to maintain that metal as well hmm uh, i'll figure it out cutstone is still doing great that's that's nice we're using a bit for construction but not at all for maintenance it's not required the university we can staff a few more people in food is still looking quite okay i'll authorize up to 700 dwarfs keeping in mind we're authorizing up to 100 also of these uh Cretonians. Cretonians, rather. Pig dudes. One of them died from the cold immediately as it started snowing. <laughs> There's our hearth right there! <laughs> Ow. Here's a bit of wood to fetch. One crate of it. And I don't know where you eat. I just assume you're eating over here or something. I don't know. Auto employees doing its thing. Service is looking honestly kind of bad, but it's hanging in there. Considering this was going to one day become canteen number two. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. It's a rough balance, a lot of the stuff. Sometimes. I think a lot of it, though, is just I haven't been doing efficiency. Like, like I was saying before, like with the bread upgrades, you can get the efficiency for the wheat farms, get the efficiency for the bakers, upgrade the baker buildings and all that stuff, and then get the spoilage thing. And there you go. Bread is just massive, massive, massive. Start getting people who are good at that stuff in early as immigrants so they become proper citizens and you're just set. Oh, hey, there we are. Metal smelters done. Pound it out. 24. I don't know what we had before. Oh, God. One death, 43 subjects injured. Holy sh... Training accident. <laughs> How? <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> At least you guys can get to the physician. It's just down the street. Oh, they just explode in gore. <laughs> the training dummies fought back, but just for a brief moment. It <laughs> took everybody by surprise. One guy died. <laughs> Uh, I love how the camera, like, zips over to it and everybody is still just spraying blood out. <laughs> I can resume you, actually. We've got the armor for you. Because I found it. I'm gonna say go for it. I, like... Super don't need the building right now. Happiness is fine and law is like really okay. <laughs> no issues at all. But mm. Okay, they're just about done up here. So we can also get queued up. The Smithy. Two of them, maybe even three. But the weaponsmithing is still locked. Right, weaponsmithing was still locked. Right. How much do I care about that? I'm not sure if I care too much about that. 600 for it, though. Oh, I should probably get it. It's done. It's done. It's already done. I got it. Jeez. Okay. So we can do all of them. So three of these I'd be wanting eventually. Stone, 
furniture and metal. Okay, let's see what I can manage. Six employees, six production, 38 metal it takes. A little bit of storage, a little bit of the auxiliary station, and then workbenches. Out of stone, not that it matters. And the door is at the bottom there. Construct, and then clone. And then clone. And rotate. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, no, you didn't. I know it. Suspend those, though. Don't worry about it. And then we're going to get a... A big cancel. Because you haven't copied over very well. I also don't have a convenient stockpile for you. Annoyingly, so what I'm gonna do is a little something I'd like to call just make it a big mess. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fine. And then these ones you suspend. Do do this one. And I need then a storage for you. Because I just feel like it works better having a small warehouse for this stuff so they can more easily access it. It means there's less carting around and just annoying blah happening. Nothing much, only costs an employee to do. It's not the super efficient layout that I discovered, but I don't care. 2,000 that holds. That'll just be... Uh, metal, armor, weapons, tools, I suppose. I guess, and it's a fairly central point as well. This is kind of what I initially had wanted to do once upon a time. It's kind of happening. Somewhat. And you guys don't even have walls. What's happened with that? All right. Strange. This should be yeah, isolation 69, 58, 100 on this one. They got walls. Should be enough to house everybody here, but maybe, maybe not quite. Eateries missing some fruit and veg. There, don't they? Don't even have that enabled. What are you going on about? I guess I could, maybe a uh, crate. That's two fifty-five though. Never mind. What am I saying? Like I guess. Auto employee, so maybe you just gotta run way out there and get it. I guess. Physicians right there for everybody. There's some more housing there, although it's really inefficient housing because it's not long houses. Big fan of long houses nowadays. They got a wall, they got a speaker, they got an entertainment thing, they got a lavatory, which is looking fine. And the eatery is... The eatery is, like, the only thing... I'm not sure if the eatery is big enough. Capacity 68? Don't know. I'm gonna suspend that again. I really don't need it. I don't need it. It's just gonna be extra maintenance and... Ugh. I don't need it. Doesn't need to happen. The cut stone... I suppose I can export some of. It really didn't export very well. But just to maintain a little bit of money, I guess. It just doesn't sell very well at all. Cut stone export. Excellent. So we're maintaining enough to get by. And then it's just a hope that the metal is actually being output 
well enough, quickly enough. Estimation this year is 70-ish and dropping because we did it at a strange time of the year. It's almost over, in fact. Consumed this year, 63, 63. Yeah. Um, I think, I think coal we're, like I said, definitely okay on. There's still a little bit of room for improvement with it. So that's not a big thing. The ore, though, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really sure what to do for the ore aside from upgrading this thing. Because it's not like I've skipped out on, like, there's, there's a bit there. Yeah, but, I mean, does that count? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not so sure. Eventually, we'll be getting through to a nice mother load over there. Actually, a little bit easier if I just mine through that way. I guess. Well, actually, is it? No, they live down here. That's fine. They can do it. Uh, whoa. This is... Yeah, this is all Sith line up here. I just have the two people working it, so it's awful. Well, we are getting Sith along. I will staff more people for the Sithalon 20 because I have that kind of manpower currently. And I will export Jesus Christ, any livestock. Got 54 of them. Remember how good livestock is to export as well. I think wood export is going to be turned into uh, maybe Sithalon export and just sell all of it. Whatever we get, sell it, and you'll just manifest tons of money. There. Because I'm not using it, I don't need to use it, and I need money for fighting wars, so... Yeah. We're going to do that with 20 people mining it out all at once, it, it might actually accumulate to be a decent amount of money. The... This is cutstone export, just because I didn't feel like bumping up minimums. Cut... Stone with the space. Oh, whoa. Weird. Uh, grain export. Similar reason. Leather export up there is doing its thing. Bit of it being stored away. Well, one person's probably fine. So cut stone, stone, stone. 10% of warehouse stock went above 3,000. Yeah, that's just to prevent us from capping out. As if we ever would. Similar deal with the... Wait, you're cut... Okay, no, I just got these reversed. Similar deal with the wood. It's just a material that we're accumulating a lot of all the time. And while I'll probably never ever reach cap, it's good to have a contingency plan in case we do. Man, that's great having this many odd choppers though, let me tell you. That's that's satisfying watching just this whole whole fleet of dudes move in. Okay, right, that was the thing. It's just like this little basically a leisure path. Right. Yeah, okay. This was just so you could easily get the uh, wood that's up there, is all that is. Okay. Well. There's plenty of room for this now, so... There you go, but... I will suspend these. Everything about them. Because our wood is awful. It is just terrible. We use so much wood. Our woodcutter needs to be so much better than this. Man, that just straight up doubles it, though. Got all the efficiency stuff. We just don't get that much wood. I mean, that just means we duplicate you. And get you up in this corner. 66 stone, 66 furniture. 
Technically not awful to do, but our furniture is still a bit of a mess. Because we never have wood. So get that done. And then also fell some trees. Well, maybe not that many. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of trees. Maybe... Maybe this, like, middle section. I kind of like the look of these trees that are there, but... Oh, jeez. Only so much you can do. It's also 88% cleared up there, too. It should be an easy build. And, uh... Double-check our wood export. Make sure that's not set wrong. Oh, no, I don't have the wood exports anymore. Right. Is there a stone export set wrong? 15% went above 3.7-ish thousand. You yeah, know, that's okay. Okay. Hey, they got the, uh, they got the Scythalon going. The leather is heading out, some cut stones heading out, Scythalon heading out. Should be getting a decent bit of money here soon. Soon. Oh yeah, money from tourists. Yeah, oh, yeah! I just, uh, yeah, I don't have anywhere for- Because I need a place with the hundred employees working there. I don't- I don't think I have that anywhere. Not yet, at least. It'd be... Probably iron mines. How exciting. <laughs> iron mines, or maybe, like, some onx pastures or auroch pastures or something. Only 19 herders there, though. 18 here. Ugh. 